Hello, it's the last session of this painting, I believe. I think we've got the basics done. One thing I like to say, um, a lot of watercolorists would use a lot more water than I have. I, I must say I've, ooh, I use watercolor nearly like poster color. But uh, it's up to you how you use it, really. You can use a mu much less paint than I have in watercolour. Be more subtle, as it were. So I'm going to try and put some highlights now to finish off the painting. Um, I don't know if you know what... I highlights can actually... It's sort of what I call finishing off. And I just like to add a bit of. Well, should I sit down or? Uh, if I sit down, I tend not to put the camera away, but I'll try and hold it like this. But I uh, hope you can see. Some more water. Not enough water. Let me see. I've got some white here. I know you should never use white, but I. I break all the rules. I just, that's the older camera up there this time. I just want to... just want to... show that there's a reflection in this... in this... Uh, reflection in the... This is water. Oops, am I... holding the camera? Trying to hold a camera away from the. I tend to hold it too close so you can't see what I'm doing! Blue, little blue, more blue. Little blue, little blue. I just. Uh, I like this. I think I should have had more blue here. So I'm going to add more blue. I know, I know it's, it's a bit dodgy putting. I, I'm using this really. I just want to. I just want to. Just want to make sure that, that I know there was some water there. Let's see it. So. If you can see it. Uh, and um. I just want to put some more light. As I said, the. The sky goes darker at the top, so I just want to make that white, so that's I'm probably making it dark. Uh -huh. Whee! Spilled the water. I stop. Stop. Why doesn't it pause? Right, we're back again. I spilt some water from my water pot. Must be more careful. So I had to dry up. Anyway, let's, um, as I say, I was doing some highlighting. I just want to... Uh, uh, how's it looking? How's it looking, boy? Just want to put some lighter colour. Light colour. Yellows. So highlight this. Where's my phone going? That means you've got a call. Uh, not a call, but a... That's, that's light here. Yeah. Of course, this can go all wrong over in a in a, a blink of an eye. I, I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to get the, the show that the light is coming from far away. Why is this? I did. I, that's why I don't like water. I, 
Well, that's why I don't like, I don't know if I like watercolour sometimes. It doesn't, doesn't behave itself when you want it to. I don't know if I'm improving this, but anyway, I let's soap so. It's, I'm just trying to, to add some, I can hardly see what I'm doing because it's so light. The white, you, you, the one thing about watercolour, you, you can't really add white to a, to a watercolour, it's just very difficult. You can on a... Right, uh, how is that looking? What, what, I just want to go back to what we were doing. I've been, I put those colour swatches, repeating the colour swatches there. And I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to think that I really finished, I might go back to it a, a little bit and add a few touches here and there, but to be honest, I think that's it. I'll, um, where's my, uh, my ear frame? Now, the one thing about framing a picture, Let's just talk about framing for a little bit. That that's actually my mask is not deep enough for what I've drawn the painting, but it gives you some idea when you do a mask what you can do. For example, I could I could make this a portrait painting simply by doing this if I wanted to. You know, like that. Can you see? Um, that's what's so important about a painting. Do make it bigger than you want it. Because you, you might decide, oh, okay, I'll, I like that as it is, but I'll, I'll, uh, I like that as well. You know, it's so simple. It's a, you know, is that better than, than this? To get that effect. I quite like this water coming towards, I don't know, I think I'm quite happy with that, but you could make the painting square, for example, and do that. That's not square. That square, more like, you could do it like that. But I think that is fine. So again, just want to go back and say, I do recommend this book, Watercolour, The Art of Watercolour Mixing. And to be honest, Watercolour is all about mixing. If you can mix your paints properly and and make a colour chart like this, it's the beginning of your your whatever you want to do uh, hobby in watercolour. You need a plenty of nice watercolour paints. You can get them in tubes like this. You don't have to buy these, what you call uh, palette, uh, no, they're called pans, that's right, pans. Those are pan, pans, little square pans that you buy individually. But you can buy Winsor & Newton watercolour tubes like this. And as I said, you don't need all those colours. Uh, a basic set of those colours would be good. So try and get those, and that's the fin final painting. I think I'm happy with that. I hope you are. Let me know what you think. Bye.